Hey guys, Dr. McCann here. And GOP microdosing is a huge topic right now. And so what is it? Does it work? And who is a candidate? So we are gonna go over these three questions. Number one, what is it? Is it's taking a lower dose of either their tazipatide or semaglutide than what was actually done in the original weight loss studies. And this came about with the compounded GLPs because patients and doctors both noticed that sometimes you can take a lower dose and the medicine will last longer and that will save you money. And you might have less side effects like GI side effects. So you can actually keep in more protein and keep and preserve your lean body mass while on the shot, which can be a huge problem if you just don't eat anything, you're more than likely gonna lose some of your lean body mass. So for example, with the compounded medications, they come in vials and your doctor tells you what dose that you need to be on. So you can draw up different doses. It's not just the standard doses. The Wegovy and the Zetbound are both in auto injectors. So you can't do low dosing with an auto injector. I mean, I guess you could stay on the 2.5 of the Zetbound, but it's gonna be almost the same price as the higher doses. So you, there's really no price savings there, but price savings comes in when you get it in the vial and you draw up lower amounts. And so the vials would typically come in 40 or 60 milligram vials. So if you were taking 2.5 milligrams, then obviously that's gonna last you longer then if you take the full 60, uh, the full 10 milligrams, and that would only last you say six weeks. So that's where the price savings comes in with this. So who is a candidate? It would be for weight loss only, not for diabetes. And it's only for people that are gonna strictly adhere to the lifestyle modifications, including keeping your muscle, which involves getting enough protein and exercising. And so this could actually be beneficial if you're able to take in more protein and where you're not you're not as sick as if you're on a higher dose and you feel like taking in more but when you take in more you make sure it's lean protein and you add in the exercise this can actually be a beneficial way number three does it work there are some studies coming out that are showing that yes it works for example with the semaglutide staying on the one milligram which is a less than half of the the weight loss dose that was studied um, people are actually still losing about the same amount of weight and able to maintain. And there's also studies coming out showing that tapering the dose, you have a higher chance of keeping the weight off or most of it off after you get off of the shot. So this does seem to be a very effective way if again, it's combined with your lifestyle changes. If you're not gonna make the lifestyle changes, if you're just not going to, then it, it's probably not the best option for you. And there's one other thing to keep in mind with the microdosing is that you need to make sure make sure you understand the medicine works by more than just making you not hungry so yes it affects your appetite but it also works at a deeper cellular level in your body it sensitizes your body to insulin and makes your body process glucose more effectively and works directly on the fat cell and helps lipolysis and actually helps your fat cells store fat more effectively so you're getting more benefits than just making you not hungry so because it's actually working at a cellular level, not just on your appetite. So bottom line is it does appear that the microdosing can be effective for weight management only in patients that are going to make the lifestyle changes to where they can keep their lean body mass while they are losing uh, the fat mass. 